All right, we got a weird story, a weird kind of update on the channel. Uh, a couple months ago, I did a video about James McDonald being on Kurt Cameron's show and uh, how I was like, that's weird. That's weird. He's been accused of all different kinds of things, including like plotting certain things against people like bodily harm kind of stuff. And so it was kind of shocking that Kirk Cameron would platform him. And I think Kirk Cameron even called him his favorite Bible teacher. And I made a video about that. And I actually got a lot of comments about how I didn't know what I was talking about. That James McDonald is a great Bible teacher and we all have a past and it doesn't matter. And, uh, you know, whatever the allegations were, they were false anyways, like that, that kind of stuff. And, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep getting comments like that because, well, this happened. Disgraced megachurch pastor, James McDonald charged with assault after allegedly attacking a woman. Now this comes from Julie Roy's, uh, from the Roy's report. And it is interesting to say the least. So apparently what happened was that there was an altercation between him. I think he's 62. I think that's what was said here. And a 59 year old woman after they got into uh, a little bit of a fender bender and someone got out of their car. I, I don't know who got out of their car first. Maybe it was the woman. Maybe it was McDonald. Then they got out of the car and apparently had some kind of altercation, some physical altercation, where it ended up that this 59-year-old woman was sent to the hospital. And now James McDonald is being charged with assault. You can see the picture right there, and I think they have uh, another one right here. This is from the incident, and it's just insane to me. According to the police statement, the assault happened after McDonald struck a car parked in front of him while attempting to parallel park his truck on the 900 block of Orange Avenue in Coronado at 1015. The occupant of the car, a 59 year old woman, got out of her car to talk to McDonald. So she she got out and the statement said uh, McDonald then reportedly jumped out of his truck and attacked the victim. The great Bible teacher, James McDonald, who many people have defended after all kinds of allegations of things that are similar to this, or at least him talking about doing things like this. Well, now it looks like he actually just did it. And it is, it is somewhat shocking, you know, like sometimes like we talk a lot about these celebrity pastors and uh, pastors who have some kind of moral failure in their life and and they kind of fade away for a little bit, and then they try to make a comeback, start a new church, advise, you know, churches on how to do church right, even though they didn't themselves. You know, we talk about these people, and we hear all kinds of things. And so it takes a lot these days to get to get shocked. But I got to admit, I was pretty shocked when I saw this, because I would never have thought that he would have actually done something. You know, a lot of times people talk about, you know, like angry people talk about doing certain things, but apparently he, he did this supposedly, I guess we'll find out in court, but it looks pretty, pretty convincing. The statement said the victim sustained serious injuries and was transported to the hospital. <sighs> the alleged attack comes four years after McDonald's was fired from Chicago area megachurch harvest Bible chapel for engaging in conduct contrary and harmful to the best interests of the church. He then went on to sue the church and there's all kinds of legal stuff that's happening between him and the church. But I mean, you can, you can go and it's the top story on julieroys.com. Uh, and you know, this was also talked about on Facebook from the Coronado police department. Uh, but at the time they just basically said that it was, I think he's 62. Uh, it was just a 62 year old man who got in this incident. But now we find out that it was Pastor James McDonald, Bible teacher, someone that a lot of people looked up to. And the question then becomes, what do we do with this? What do we do with this? Is it just a scandalous story? Or is there something that we can learn? I think that there's something that we could learn from this. 
that we can learn to, when people show you who they are, believe them. When they start talking about things in a way that is completely ungodly, to talk about harming people on staff, or there was one thing that he said, and I'm pretty sure like that that was fully investigated, and it was he said this uh, of putting certain kinds of pictures on someone's computer on staff to get them in trouble with the authorities. And I think you know what I mean by that. When, when someone talks like that, it doesn't matter what they say from the pulpit. You know, they can, they can sound great from the pulpit. You listening to them on the radio and, and listening to their podcast, it can sound fantastic. But when you start hearing these stories of all the different ways that they treat people behind closed doors, or maybe when they think no one's paying attention, maybe even with a little car accident, believe them. Trust that they're actually showing who they really are. And not, it's, you know, it's great. It's great to have a preacher go up on a stage and preach, and it's amazing, and you're learning so much, and you're growing from it. Like Kirk Cameron said, uh, you know, he was, he was his favorite Bible teacher. He learned a lot from James McDonald. Well, don't, don't just neglect these stories that people have and just be like, well, that's their experience. That's their experience with him. That's not my experience. My experience is listening to him, you know, from the chair, from the pew, uh, and just listening to their sermons. And I've learned so much. And so we get so defensive of people that we've learned from. Don't be that. Okay. <laughs> Listen to people when they have stories uh, of all kinds of uh, allegations that that this person has done to them, that they've, um, you know, we have investigative reporting that's happened about this person. And even if you like them, like, I think a great, a great uh, section of Christianity that can learn from this right now are the people who, who love Mark Driscoll. And I'm seeing more and more defense of Mark Driscoll and things being said like, well, I don't care about his past. Well, the past comes back if it's not dealt with. And it looks like for James McDonald, the past came back. His anger issues are still there. And it is disqualifying for a pastor, for anyone in ministry. If you get into a car accident, next thing you know, you're brawling. You're a brawler, as the King James says. <laughs> like you are someone who is wanting to fight, and that disqualifies you from ministry. It's not loving. It's not filled with grace. It it's totally unbecoming of a pastor. But this could have been known a long time ago. That aspect of who he is and being disqualified. Many people did know about that. And so I guess what I'm saying is that if you have someone in your life that you respect, that you've listened to, uh, that you've learned from, and they have some stuff in their background that, you know, they've got anger issues, or maybe they've, they've dealt with some other sin, they've been kicked out of ministry before, and you're just like, ah, whatever, I'm not going to go deep into it. It's not who they are anymore. Well, maybe you do need to investigate a little bit. Find out why that happened. Find out who is this person. Is it just the person you know, is, is it actually the person who's on stage or is it a different kind of person? James McDonald, a different kind of person that led, at least in part, we'll find out with court stuff, but led to a 59 year old woman being sent to the hospital. Let's learn from this. I'll see you in the next one.